Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen the introduction of broken access control and in the coming videos, we'll be going into the practicals. Before that, let's see what is OpenVPN and how we can implement it. Because in this session, we'll be going to use TryHackMe and we'll be going to connect with uh, uh, machines in the TryHackMe and we'll be uh, implementing the OASP. So let's go ahead and see what is OpenVPN. So coming to the introduction, OpenVPN is a virtual private network system that implements techniques to create secure point-to-point -point or side-to-side -side connections in routed or bridged configurations and remote access facilities. Let's look into what exactly it is. So let's say we have uh, TryHackMe servers. And let's say it's 10.0.0.1 last 16 so we have different machines inside this let's say for instance right now we have eight different machines and uh, if there is a person who is inside try hack me servers and he's on the premises so if he's on premises then you don't require any VPN access because he's inside this and he's working uh, with those systems so you don't require any open VPN Whereas, let's consider a practical example of uh, a COVID situation recently. So, we are working remotely. So, let's say there is a person who is working from home. And he want to access this machine. Let's say it, it uh, its IP is 0.0.2. So, this particular machine says 10.0.0.2. So this person needs access to this uh, machine in order to complete his workload. So for this, he has to use OpenVPN. So he has to connect to this remote uh, desktop using OpenVPN connection, which connects it securely. So there will be a tunnel through which they can connect securely and he can work uh, on his workloads. So that is why we usually use OpenVPN so in this case, TryHackMe has different machines, let's say a red teaming, OWASP or Burpsuit and so on. So this has different machines, let's say this is OWASP, this is Burpsuit, this is uh, red teaming. So based on your requirement, you have to just go to that machine and you have to deploy it and you can run that. So this is the basic idea about how exactly the OpenVPN works. And now let's look into the uh, how can we access the machines uh, of try hack me so let's go to the Kali Linux so I just uh, le let me show you here I couldn't find my cursor there you go so just access my you have to use your uh, uh, image so this is what I'm using so this is the machine that I have been deployed so you have to go to the browser initially so you have to go to the web browser so in this case I have used uh, Chrome but usually by default it will be Mozilla uh, it is a good for us but uh, because of some situations I just changed it to Chrome so let's click it so you can see this is to try hack me so I just turn the machine so I'm just uh, can just leave it so initially you can see right now I'm connected but let's refresh it am I connected no I'm not because I just uh, removed the commands because I just want to show you how it actually works so the initial stage let's go to the other one which is open VPN so this is how you have to connect these uh, try hack me servers uh, from your local uh, you know systems so you have different machines where you can connect with Windows Mac OS Linux and so on but in this case we'll be going it with uh, Linux so let's click it so this is the command that you have to use first you have to use sudo apt install open vpn so let's go to the command prompt and i'm just uh, copying this and uh, copy and just paste here it's done and use your uh, password there yes so it's installing all the packages so once it is done 
the next command that we have to use is sudo open vpn and you have to use your uh, vpn here like uh, ovpn which you can find here in the access section so you have to just click your image and you can go to the access so you have uh, different vpn servers if you click here you have different vpn servers uh, let's say for instance you have downloaded one VPN server but it's not working in your case then you can just go with the other one and you can uh, download it so for instance in this case I have downloaded uh, your regular one and I have just clicked download it and uh, let's check what is the file that we have in the download section so let's go to the Kali let me open uh, other terminal and uh, let's go to ls ls is nothing but listing and in this case i'll be going with the downloads so here you can see there is a uh, my ovpn so using this i can connect to this remote servers so since i'm already updated so it's uh, i think we can directly go ahead and uh, use this particular command which is sudo open vpn and my name so whenever you download it, you have to use that particular file name. In this case, my file name is rabitech9949. So let's go here and uh, sudo open VPN and uh, you can just click enter and use your password here. Click. So it got connected. Let me enlarge it. So you can see initial sequence completed and it has been completed right now so if you go here so initially it says like so it's not connected here so let's refresh it there you go so you have been connected so let's go to the open vpn let's close it and uh, let's deploy and see how uh, what is the deploy section using try hack without open okay check if you're connected there you go so usually you will be having different machines so you just need to start uh, you, you will be having a similar tasks in the try hack me and you just need to start the machine so just click start machine and uh, you will be redirected to an IP address that we have discussed in uh, just a few seconds ago so it's just refreshing right now so once we get the IP address we can go to that particular IP address and we can find the flags. Similarly, there are multiple uh, tasks in this try hack me. You can uh, perform the similar way. So we'll just uh, wait for this uh, IP to generate. And uh, once it's generated, you, you, can, uh, you can find here as well. So let's wait for that. Three, two, one. Uh, there you go. So we have got the IP address, and let's try to see whether we can access this particular IP. So if you check the diagram here, similarly we have talked it. So there is IP address here, and we are trying to access remotely. So in this case, uh, the IP address is. Uh, so this particular machine has ten point ten point eighty two that we have just seen right now. So we are just connecting using Open VPN. and we are connecting remotely so this is how we are going to access it so let's uh, click enter and let's see if we can access it or not well we are going to access it so this is the particular flag so we have connected successfully so this is how we have to connect and uh, i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video and in the next video we'll be trying uh, about uh, OWASP broken access control and we'll be implementing it practically and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.